Haley Newman, and Lumix. What's up? Hey, thanks for having us on here. Thank y'all for uh, coming back on. It's, it's been a while since we talked, but happy to have y'all back up here. We're happy to be here. So I've got to ask about this right out of the gate, because <laughs> I just now learned about this like 10 seconds ago. What made you go with your original name, Haley Newman, instead of Halo? That's a big change. It is a big change. You know, I just felt like it was a nickname that I had in middle school. And I felt like that I really came into the person that I was always meant to be, which is Haley Newman. That's cool. Good yeah. answer, too. Sounds like you've been practicing that. That's no, good. No. That's good. <laughs> That's a good answer. I felt the same way though. Like I everybody told me to get like a cool radio name or something like that. Like Waylon Jennings had this radio DJ that followed him around. His name was Captain Midnight. I thought that was such a cool name. But I just, you know, I, I went with my original name, though, because it just, I, I felt like that was me. Well, I didn't, it showcases who you are, yeah. Yeah, I didn't want to be like like a character. I yeah. wanted to be myself. Yeah. And, and a lot of times, whenever you're doing any form of entertainment, people will look at you as an entertainer instead of like, like a human being that is a, a real person that has real feelings. We're not these robots that yeah. everybody thinks we are. Mm -hmm. We're real people. Mm -hmm. But very cool. How long has that been a thing now? It's honestly been a thing for like maybe like a couple weeks. It's not been long. Yeah, I... Well, to be honest, my Facebook has been filled with all types of craziness, so I ain't really keeping up with too much. Did you make yeah. like an announcement about it or anything? Uh, yeah, I think we did like a little thing about it a few weeks ago i can't keep up the world's crazy right now and <laughs> it was christmas and everything holidays were, were weird this year did y'all have like a good holiday season yeah we had like just like a little dinner with a little small family and it was great did y'all get all the gifts that you wanted yes yes <laughs> what'd you get lumix god what uh, was like one of your favorites like both y'all what was one of your favorite gifts i got a switch I'm Animal jealous. Animal Crossing Switch. I'm, I'm jealous. <laughs> I, I haven't played Animal Crossing, and I don't really have friends that like play that type of stuff, so I don't really know much about it, but I've heard so much about it. What is Animal Crossing? It's the best game ever. It's adorable. That's all you got to say. It's the best game ever. <laughs> like, is, is it like The Sims, but with animals? Because like, that's kind of so the like, vibe I've got off of it. You have it. villagers, okay? And you can, you're like the mayor, right? Well, no, not in the newest one. Now we just own the island. Yeah. Nook. You own an island with a raccoon. Named Nook. <laughs> and he That's makes you cool pay name. millions of bells for a house loan. Millions of what? Bells. 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 Like bells? That's yep. the currency. That's the currency. The bells? Like, like, yeah, the, like, bells. Like, like a cat bell? Um, they're not taco shaped like, bell? Well, they're not shaped like bells. They're just called bells. See, this game originated from Japan, so I'm assuming that they the didn't, it's yeah. not like a... They don't treat it like a, like you would how we call bells in America, you know. Yeah. Like a bell, but it's just a little <laughs> golden coin with like a little uh, what is it? A star? Yeah. Star on it. Okay. Yeah, and your little villagers are animals. You're the only human unless you make other accounts and put other humans on there. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> what do you, what do you do in this game? You can then? build. You can run around, talk to the animals, become friends with them. You can also. Uh, Give Change your stuff. outfits, uh, give people gifts. It's, it's really fun. And uh, you can play with other people online, and they can come to your island, and you can go to their island. And... Is this like, like a uh, only an online game? Not no, you necessarily. Can, you can play it. If you guys are in stuff. the same room, you guys can visit your each other's island. Like, yeah, there's local without using and online. Internet. Yep. Okay. It's a fun game. This, Highly recommend it. It actually sounds like it. The, it's great. Those type of uh, the, the community online games are, are getting very popular yeah. nowadays, it seems like. Yeah. It's very wholesome. <laughs> uh, I haven't met a lot of... Uh, there's like a little website called Nookazon online where you can like get in contact with other people and go to their islands and sell stuff. And um, there's not a lot of people that we've run into that have been like scammy and stuff or like mean Ooh, how, how well, do they scam y'all wait i'll tell you how they scam you because yeah, they scammed got scammed <laughs> you got hard. scammed i did very hard so there's these things where you can buy villagers if you want them if you have an open space on your island uh -huh. okay you get 10 open spaces i had an open space for oh, a villager so that i wanted <laughs> and i went to this person's island to get them yeah 
And they said, drop drop the offering first because, you know, you, you get money and stuff. Like, I was like, I have 1.5 million bells for this person and 100 Nook Mile tickets. And I drop it because I'm like, I understand because they I could jip them and just, like, leave their island as soon as I talked to their villager. Yeah. But they did the that, that to me. I dropped the money, they picked it up, and then kicked me off their island. That's dirty. <laughs> dirty. I was, I was heated about it. I'm not going to lie. So what form of revenge can like y'all take against somebody like that? I talked like to that? a moderator on Nookazon about it. And I said, this, this, they need to get canceled now. <laughs> and, the, and the girl was like, do you have any like physical proof that they did it? And I was like, so they messaged me. I sent the messages I had with the person. And then I showed them my little like account. <laughs> there was a million bells missing, and I was like, there's the proof. There's also another thing that you can do in the game. Like, if you're on that person's island, you can click the minus uh, button, and uh, you can actually report them. Uh-huh. But she didn't know about that. Aww. Yeah, and if you have it open, they can't, like, you can't leave. Like, they, you can't leave the island if you have open, uh, like, the menu. Uh-huh. So, like, if you if they try to close the game, it'll be like, close the menu so you can leave. But she didn't know that. So she kind of just stood there <laughs> yeah, in shock. I was, was like, I was really upset about it because at the time I only had, like, two million bills. So that was, like, all of my money. And I was really sad about it. That sucks. I think you wanted Anka. It was yeah. Anka. <laughs> I was really upset about it. She's like a cute little cat. Did did the moderator do anything about it? Um, I think she ended up kicking his account off there. Yeah. And once nice. you like get your account kicked off there, I think you can't. I think they ban your IP address. Yeah. I'm not 100% Whoa. sure, but I think they, they do. They take that serious. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. So like th- this is almost like like a like a, a real country that you're talking about, I feel like. <laughs> like the police are stuck. Like, you have to talk to the police. Do you have any proof? Yada, yada, yada. That's the way that like these games are getting. It's getting mm-hmm. so realistic. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, before we before we dive into that too much, what about you? What what was your uh, favorite Christmas gift? Um, I got this uh, pair of kitty cat headphones that I wear when I game and stuff. Now it's got they light up and it's got like little cat ears. Uh, I've chair. I've seen that. What color are they? <laughs> They're pink. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I I like that headphones are making a comeback. I've seen the uh, the cat headphones that you're talking about. I'm yeah. a really big fan of cats, and I almost bought a pair for myself. Same. I was really excited when I opened it. I was like. Yes, it was a great time. I know Cinnamon Toast Ken has a pair of those, the YouTuber I watch. Video games are getting popular. They like, are, yeah. uh, like uh, I was watching this thing the other day about the the whole virtual reality stuff that they're doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it called? A- a- anyways, like they, they're going so far now to where you have like virtual real estate in some of these VR games. Yeah, like no. you, you can buy actual plots of land in a virtual universe that you and your friends hang out in. Yeah, see, our little brother, he does VR. I don't do VR. That scares me. It seems fun. And it seems like that's almost what the future is going towards. Oh, I'm excited for it. It, The only thing is that I get really motion sick, so I can't play it for long. (laughs) But I think that like they're eventually going to figure it out to where... Yeah, because I, cause I to do. To where it I, feels I, like I you're too. just actually there. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I get the same thing. Like I'd done this one VR where like I fell off a building and I about actually hit the ground. Like it was, it was a terrifying <laughs> experience. But you know, maybe one day we'll have this thing in our house. Have y'all seen these things? I don't know what they're called, but like you strap yourself into it. And it's like you play virtual reality with that, but you're playing with your whole body. Oh, yeah. It, and it has like I a... I think I know a, what you're talking like, about. I've seen the ones where they have like those little domes that you run on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's, yeah, so, that's, that's it. Yep. So you're not like going forward with a button. You're actually going forward with your feet now. Yeah, that's crazy. It's wild. <laughs> I, I, but the virtual real estate thing, like that really freaked me out whenever I seen people were doing that. Like somebody paid... Four hundred thousand dollars to be Snoop Dogg's virtual neighbor, or something <laughs> like oh that. <laughs> but the this guy that I was talking to about it, he was trying to explain to me how, you know, a lot of very young kids are growing up in in a virtual age. Yeah. So one day, you know, it, everybody may just be hanging out in a virtual reality world, like. Yeah. I don't think I think you're still going to have real life, but I think that most people Most people are just going to live online. Yeah, yeah. I- I- exactly. Live on the cloud. <laughs> and and they have these like some things that like you can do certain things in the game that you accumulate money 
from that that's like actual real life money. So like you could actually like work in these virtual reality worlds. You can quit your job and work in these worlds and make real money to use in the real world. It's weird. I don't know yeah. what it's going to be like, but <laughs> it's a well, it's going to be weird. Considering considering that uh most jobs are probably going to get taken over by like robots and stuff like uh factory like factories and stuff. Um I can't remember what it was. Uh, like, uh, let's say, like, Pizza Man, the pizza driver or whatever, gets uh, replaced with, like, a drone or, like, a like a little packaging service or whatever. Like Amazon did. Yeah. yeah. That, then all those jobs would be gone. But if you're on the digital world and you're making money through that, then you would still have money, you know, to spend out here, even Ex- though you wouldn't have an actual job. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, see, because that was like one of the thoughts that I had back in the day was like, well, how are you going to have a job? How are you going to make income? Yada, yada, yada. Now, like you just said, yeah. they're figuring that out. So, what is the future going to be like? Because, I, like you were saying too, robots are taking over all the jobs. Like, I said, have, did y'all that? Say sounds that sounds so crazy to us. Like, robots are taking over the world. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke back, you know, 10 years ago. But, 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 but nowadays it's real. Did y'all see that one commercial? It might have been Burger King. I don't know. I, I forget who it was. But they had like a robot that was, you know, flipping the burgers and doing the fries yeah. and stuff. And the employee would just walk over and like bag it up and give it to the person. Mm-hmm. That was their only job. That's a real commercial that was like a month ago, really? something like that. Yeah. I haven't seen that. That sounds awesome. I haven't seen it awesome. either, I mean, but it does sound cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but the thing is, like like you were saying, though. Like, but it takes out all the jobs. <laughs> yeah. What are we supposed to do after that? Like, what comes after? Nobody yeah. knows. It's like, can't work anywhere. <laughs> It, 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 cause I mean, you know, that's. It's like, how are we gonna buy all the stuff that we want to buy if we don't have any jobs to get money to buy the stuff? Like. Yeah. <laughs> but now they're figuring out you can do these things in these virtual worlds that you make money off of, yeah. and boom, there's your source of income right there. If you don't have a job because robots took it over. You know, totally yeah. unrelated but related to this. This reminds me of a game called Detroit. Is that like Detroit <laughs> Detroit Is Detroit become Detroit? human? Detroit become human. Have you ever played it? At all. Wait, Detroit? Detroit become human. Yeah. Detroit become human? Yes. Yeah, it's a PS4 game. <laughs> no, <It's, laughs> it has a great name, though. Yeah. It's, uh, it's about um, all these androids. Like, they've made androids, and people are not happy about it because they're like, well, they're taking all the jobs, and the, the androids burgers. are like, but we're alive. We can actually feel, which that has nothing to do with our conversation in that regard. Like, I don't think robots are going to be all like, I, I can... I can feel. I can feel. <laughs> like unless you program it to do that. I think they yeah. can. They're they're working on that too. <laughs> I think if you, the only way that they're going to be able to have feelings and stuff, you have to program that. But I, but I think they can, and I think that they will. Oh, I definitely think that they will. Because there is this uh, Boston Dynamics is a company that's really messing with a lot of AI robots, and they had this one that was doing like an obstacle course, Mm -hmm. and it was like doing flips. It was running on the sides of walls and stuff like that, (laughs) and and it looked like a like a like a real human. Like I I just pulled up the Detroit Become Human poster here. It looks real, yeah. But but that's exactly what it looked like. Like that type of. I don't know structure. Like you can tell, like it looks like a person, but somehow your mind just knows that it's not a real person. Yeah. Like that's what these robots are starting to look like. Yeah. Like in the game, they have like a little blue circle on the side of their forehead, and that's usually how you can tell whether. But they take it out. They could take it out. Oh. Yeah. I, that's crazy. Personally, I think it's because Kamsky, the guy who created them, I think he put a code in them, and it, it's uh, what was it? Ra nine what they refer to it as i think he put a code in them that makes them think that they can feel and emulate human emotions and that they can take it out i think it's a great game i highly recommend that you play it this sounds awesome it's awesome it is great there's not many video games nowadays that interest me but that sounds awesome like i I, I love a game that has a good storyline to Mm -hmm. it well you play as three different androids marcus connor and cara Mm -hmm. and cara is uh She's just like a little worker bot, uh, stay-at-home kind of wife bot. What she does, though, she ends up, like this little girl, she lives with her dad, and he's very abusive. So she takes the little girl and runs away with her. And you can either kill Todd or let him live, but regardless, you have to get out of there or he'll kill you. It's a game with multiple endings. Yeah, there's multiple endings. 
Ooh. With three different uh, like people. you can you can kill everyone if and you want. And Connor's to. like a little it's he's crazy. like a little cop bot. He's like he's like, Oh yeah, I'm a detective and you get stuck <laughs> with this old man who's like really crabby and hates androids and you have to figure out why he hates them and he ends up coming to like <laughs> Connor and you, depending on the choices you make. If you're nice to Hank, he'll well, be like, I like you. If you're mean to him, he's like, I hate you. I hope you die. <laughs> let's not spoil any bit of it because people watching might want to play it now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, well, that's true. I'm sorry. I, I definitely I love want, talking about it, though. I definitely want to check this out. Oh, yeah. But it's great. It, it it does seem like, though, like that's kind of what the future is going towards. Yeah. And I just don't know it really how it's going to be. I don't know how it's going to get there, but I know that it's going to get there. Yeah. Exactly. And, and, it, and it's not going to be long. Like, I yeah. give it... Uh, before, like, robots really take over... <laughs> <laughs> like, really? Uh, I'd say within the next hundred years. Okay, yeah. I, mean, yeah, that, I could that, see that. Yeah, it's definitely... like Because a yeah. hundred years from now will technically be, like, what, 30, 22? I, for some reason, it took me so long to think of that. I actually <laughs> read up on a study, like, a couple months ago about... Uh, they said... Uh, by year 2050, we should have like uh, like they're 3D printing organs. Like they're trying to figure out how to make us live forever. Yeah, and they they <laughs> done crazy. that. I think they done. I, yeah. have to, I have to look this up. I think they done a heart <laughs> transplants with with yeah. a 3D printer. Yep. I think that that was a real thing. Yeah, they were like by 2050, we might even be able to upload our brains to the cloud. That was the joke I was making earlier because that's what they said. And I was like, man, if I can just make it 2050. This conversation <laughs> is like the most 3 a.m. thoughts I've ever heard of. Yeah. <laughs> ever. Ever. But it's the real deal. I love having these conversations. That's why I'm so happy that y'all are up here today. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, here it is. The 3D bioprinted heart provides new tools for surgeons. Surgeons will soon have a powerful new tool for planning and practice with the creation of the first full-size 3D printed bio printed model of the human heart. Wow. Amazing. wow. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. Oh, they have a video, too, that I'm going to watch later. <laughs> <sighs> I'll definitely be going and looking through uh, some of this stuff later. <laughs> would, y'all want it, would y'all want to live forever if they started doing this type of stuff? Well, it depends. Because, like, you know, that question's very interesting when I get asked that because it's like, well, am I the only one that lives forever or does everybody that I know and love around me live forever oh. with me? See, Good that's to think the real about question. Like that. See, if it's only me, no, absolutely not. Yeah, because I, yeah, I don't want to see everybody around me just fall over and die and be like, uh-huh. you I know, don't know. I, I want. I'd be so depressing. That's go, it's going to be, be so depressing, depressing. Obviously, like, your entire like after that, you would have nothing. You would have no one because everybody would just keep dying around you. So, wouldn't you want everyone around you to be able to live forever with you? Unless you're a person like just hated people, hated your exactly. family, hated your friends. You, if you didn't care about anybody, anybody but yourself, it would work that out would for be you. Perfect. Exactly, It'd be perfect for you. But like personally, unless everyone was with me, no, yeah. I would not want to. It, I'm still scared of dying, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point too. Yeah, it's who knows? Like they may, if we don't blow ourselves up before it happens. They may actually figure it out. You may, I, you, it may just be very expensive. Like, but if they can just like keep changing out organs, keep changing out blood. I don't think I'm gonna be here when that happens. So. But you also have to take you into account know. aging and what that would do to like your body and your skin. But like, what if they somehow figure out like ex- whatever? I wonder what makes you age. Is it something that has to do with your brain? Is it just the cells in that's your body. That's a good point. Yeah, that's what a great question. What makes you age? I have no I'm idea. To be honest, I have no idea. Um. <laughs> and it's so crazy. Like we're living life, but we have no idea how yeah. it works. We have no idea. You know what causes us to die? What's after? You know. But yeah, that's crazy. the only thing that would keep me wanting to stay alive. Eat, like I would be the most depressed person on the planet because everybody would be dead around me, and I'd be like, well. <laughs> There's nothing now. I mean, yeah. yeah. Like, you really got to think of it like that. Because some people's like, in a heartbeat, they're like, yes, I want to live forever. And I'm like, okay. So do you hate everyone around you? Well, because, I mean, like, I, don't, I don't even like, think it's about that. I think that's just the appropriate, like, that would be your first instinct. Yeah, I want to live forever. I want to be alive because a human's instinct is to be alive. <laughs> like, if you're in a deadly situation, you're, like, terrified. You're like, I want to live. I want to live. I want to live. So if you say, do you want to live forever? I think the first thing you would think is, well, yeah, I want to be alive. It would be nice, but like you know, but then you start, nice? but then you start thinking about it, and you're like, well, 
if everyone around me is dying and there's just nobody left, you know, and what would be the point? Yeah, true. I feel like it's, it's just, these thoughts. It's, man. it's a Deep loaded question. Thoughts. I mean, you, but you might would have like great, 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 great grandchildren to keep you company. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if, you, if your family keeps going on and on, well, I mean, it would I feel still, like you, you would have to, you would grow heartless because like they would just keep dying, and you'd just be like, well, moving on to the next. This kind of reminds me of Skips from you regular know? show. <laughs> you know, it makes because he sad. lives forever. But, really sad. But um, I can imagine how much of a like, like a boomer you would become. Yeah. Well, like I'm already like tired of some of the stuff that's popular nowadays. Imagine like 300 years in the future. There would just be a different word for that. <laughs> Definitely. Super boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. There would just be a whole different category for that. <laughs> Who knows what they're going to figure out. Uh, Alex downstairs, shout out to Alex. He said that a teacher <laughs> described to him in high school one time that we are like a decaying fruit after 25. Are you for Real? No, uh, that's, that's true. A, that's a great teacher to have there. That's that's really. That's terrifying. It's terrifying, <laughs> but that is actually true. The aging process does usually start around that age. For real. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I'm three years away from it. I'm 25. Oh no! <laughs> like, well, oh no! This is not good to learn today. I'm decaying. I feel like the the witch in the the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> what type of teachers do you have, Alex? Wow. But I'm, I guess that makes sense. How like, do they I feel know? like that teacher was a science teacher. That, but, 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 <laughs> but, what about Tom Cruise? Exactly. What about Jennifer Aniston? Jennifer Aniston. Pharrell, exactly. Pharrell Williams. They don't age. Explain Amen. that, Mr. Mr. Teacher. I don't know exactly. who that teacher was. There's no was. explanation for it. Well, genetics and money. <laughs> Scientology. <laughs> who, who, biology teacher. Okay, that, that makes sense. If, if you heard that it. from a math a teacher, teacher, I'd have some questions. I know it. I said it was a science teacher. Yeah, well, so I mean, and maybe they're 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 onto something. Who yeah. knows? Who knows? I would have believed it was this history teacher too. I don't know like <laughs> anybody that's poor that looks like Tom Cruise at his age. <laughs> so it definitely has to be some money involved there. Uh, genetics can only like get you so far. They're half robot. They, we just don't know it. <laughs> Elon Musk said we're technically becoming cyborgs right now with our cell phones because, like, if you think about it. It's on you all the time. It's always somewhere near you or in your pocket. Yeah, and if or you can't whatever. find it, you feel like a piece of you is gone. <laughs> yes. So like we're already kind of like, you know, like that's the first step. That's our that's us dipping our toes in the water. Well, of it ain't just cyborgs. that. I mean, even like some people, you know, like pacemakers and stuff. Like yeah, you know, I mean robotic limbs. Yeah. Man, yeah. I mean, I even, if, even, and like, even, if, even if you are a cyborg, that doesn't make you less of a human, obviously. I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, uh, when you're... Well, what makes you human, though? Exactly. Being a human. <laughs> Being but a human. That's a good question, though. Like, is it, do you have to have the heart? Do you have to have the brain? What and, and, and well, I guess it's more the brain because the heart can be replaced. I was going to say, I feel like we're literally just our brain. Just, we're just in a vessel, a meat vessel. Have, have y'all seen like the, the, the brain vessel. with all the veins that come down yes, to the body? Yeah, I have. Wow. It's, it's crazy to me. I'm like, that looks a little sus. I'm not going to lie. It's, we look like <laughs> aliens. I guess it would be the brain that makes you human. But, you know, they're, they're starting that Neuralink thing. Mm-hmm. So the brain is going to be changing in the future. Are we going to be humans anymore? Is it going to be like a new subspecies? I think we're all just going to become <laughs> computer people because, computer like I people. said, well, like I said, <laughs> they said that they could uh, by twenty fifty we should be able to upload our brain to the cloud and live in the virtual world. And I was like, that's terrifying. Ah, oh, it's so weird. And people might think that like you don't know what you're talking about, but that is like real stuff that yeah. is well, going I was on just nowadays. Curious about it one night, and I was like, I wonder if there's like anything like that because I watch a lot of anime, and I'm like, man, I want to just be that. I want to live like that, and you know, it, just because like we're not smart enough to understand exactly how they're going to do that doesn't mean that there's somebody that is smart enough out there that is impossible. working yeah. on it. Yeah. Because apparently with that Neuralink thing, I don't know how this is going to work, but apparently you can like read each other's thoughts. What's that called? Tel- uh, telepathic. Yeah. It, it'll make you telepathic. If like if I have the Neuralink and y'all have the Neuralink, we can be doing a podcast without talking. Exactly. Oh my God, that is terrifying. But at the same time, that's kind of cool. Like if I, I, I'm not gonna lie, if I could draw what I see in my head versus what I actually draw, I. 
it may become a thing, though. It would be. And, like, woo. wouldn't that just, like, throw away any kind of, like, art Work talent ethic? ever? <laughs> because everybody could just draw then. You could just think of Picasso and then just lay yeah. it right out in front of you. Like We're all going to be superhumans. Exactly. It would definitely crazy. make animating and comics a lot a lot faster. It may even make <laughs> songwriting better too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, Be- because I think that like it connects to certain parts of the brain from yeah. what from what I've read. Like like paraplegics will be able to walk Ooh. again. People with Alzheimer's will yeah. be able to remember. It's going to be crazy. But th- I know that there is a part it would hit of the, the creative brain. side. Yeah, is, the cr- it, is it the left side or the right? Side? The creative side. I, there's like a certain portion of your brain that yeah. that has to do with creativity. Cre- yeah, and if they can connect the wires to that. I mean, just imagine what type of song self. you can write. Yeah, you'd be your most creative self ever, and you could just write every song in the world. I'm actually what? excited for that. <laughs> it's going to be crazy, and like this, it sounds like a science fiction movie that we're talking about, but yeah. this is real, actual life. Yeah, I believe that. Like, just because you can't think, like you can't understand, comprehend something. it. If you can't comprehend something, then it's not possible it's impossible to do but it does it, that's not true like it doesn't make it impossible even if you can't comprehend it <sighs> but beyond our comprehension there's definitely things out there it's weird mm-hmm. like, like how they can uh, with, with babies now somehow i don't know how they do this but they can like tell what type of health problems the baby will develop later on in yeah. life like they can see if they're more subjective to uh, you know certain type of cancers mm-hmm. or alzheimer's or you know whatever they can yeah. tell like when it's a baby what will happen to it later on in life well i'm just glad that we're growing positively yeah. instead of um regressing and yeah. um, <laughs> going backwards so as long as we don't have no Terminator type stuff going on, yeah. I think I think we're like, okay. As long as the apes don't take over the world, robots don't become sentient, we're good. Hopefully, the aliens come down and and we and like, and like that'll just kind of like even out everything somehow. Yeah. H- humble us a little bit. Yes, that's the yes. T- that, that's what I'm looking for. Humble us a little bit. Exactly. Who knows? Like like 2022. That is such a futuristic number to yep. me. I. Th- Think that this year is also the year that George Jetson was born. I seen that on the internet. Wait, what? From the Jetsons? Yeah. Uh, I think. Oh, he was born in 2022. Is that what you're saying? No. Yeah, I think so. What? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, July 31st, 2022. So it's gonna be some Simpsons stuff oh, going on here. It's like they're gonna start predicting stuff after he was born. And stuff. Oh, I'm telling you, that's what's gonna start happening. It's crazy because <laughs> uh, Detroit uh, Become Human actually takes place in 2038. So <laughs> who? I, I think that they know something we don't. Exactly. Like, there's definitely some things out there that some people know about, and there's some things out there that some people don't know about. <laughs> what? What if? Certain government organization. We are getting deep on this podcast. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I was expecting you to talk about Lone Star and yada yada yada. We'll get to that, I promise. But I'm enjoying this conversation. Okay, yeah. What if, like, certain government organizations work with these entertainment companies and release games like uh, the the Detroit game or shows like Black Mirror to kind of like. E- ease people in. Oh, I you know? love Black Mirror. Black Mirror is crazy. It is trippy. <laughs> I think that they had to like stop working on the show there for a little while because yeah. like it was actually becoming true. Yeah. If anybody Ooh. hasn't checked that out, go down that rabbit hole. Yeah, there's one with Molly Cyrus in it. Completely recommend that one. That's a good one. It was a good one, yeah. What What was the, the doll thing? I forget what it was called. But didn't she like download her consciousness onto that doll? Yeah. In the, and in, the doll in the show? was like, I'm here. I'm alive. Hi. Wow. It was really weird. Go watch it. It was awesome. <laughs> I wonder how they're going to do that. They already do that with holograms. Uh, if you have enough video and audio of yourself, mm-hmm. they can remake you as a hologram, and you can act like they do like birthday messages for your family that is or the whatever. Scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. See, it like there's, there's me a Vocaloid. And, and like, done there's, it too. there's things like Vocaloids, and then one time I went to a Brad Paisley concert, and he had, he did a song I think with Carrie Underwood, but Carrie Underwood wasn't really there. It yep. was a hologram of her, and I was like, I thought it was real. How, how real did it look? I didn't even know it was a hologram until my dad told me. No way. Yeah, I thought it was a real person chilling up there. I was like, yeah, Carrie Underwood, let's go. And then after the concert, dad was like, that was a hologram, Haley. And I was like, 
Are you for real? <laughs> what? It was crazy. <laughs> it's crazy I, how realistic they look. And then did you see the one where Christina Aguilera did a duet with Whitney Houston no. on The Voice? Now that was crazy. And that was a hologram too? Yeah, that was a hologram. Let me look this up. It was wild. I have to see this. Wait, this is is this 2012 that he done this hologram? Uh, I think it was a long time ago. I was like 14, ah, 15. Wait, is that the hologram? That this is a bad video. If, if that's a hologram, though. <laughs> do, 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 do. The, the only way that you could probably tell something is a hologram is if it doesn't move, if it doesn't walk around. She's moving. Well, See, I, now, I, I, I don't know, know about that, I mean, man. You can tell the advanced. vocaloids are... <laughs> like, as long, if they're walking, that's Oh, that's no weird. hologram. Dang it, YouTube. Make this easy. I just <laughs> want to see this hologram. <laughs> Who else done it, did you say, with the Whitney Houston? Yeah, Christina Aguilera on The Voice, I think. It was crazy. I was sitting there and I was up. like, this is really good. It was a really good performance. It was great. Okay. It just was crazy to me. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> okay, here it is. I, I did see the Tupac hologram that they done at Coachella a few years ago, and that was pretty crazy. Yeah. Like, I know that Michael Jackson, that he goes around and does Whoa. concerts, like, I think is a hologram. I think that's a thing. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, it's trippy. That look. That it looks real. Looks <laughs> real. So real. Yeah. Like it looks like she's just standing right beside Whitney Houston. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> that's mind blowing moment. I wasn't expecting it to look that real. Like yeah. she's walking around on stage and everything. Yep. Whoa. And you know it's got to be a hologram, you know? Like, you know, oh, it's yeah. Got, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> like, conspiracy theory, it was actually real. No, I'm just joking. You never know. <laughs> you never know. It was an her, android. Her, Tupac, and Elvis are all in Cuba and yada, yada, yada. But, you know, who would y'all pay to, okay, what's a famous singer that has passed away? Michael that Jackson. Y'all, Michael Jackson. I was talking about it earlier. He okay. does concerts, I think. Would y'all pay to go see that? You know, I feel like the entire point of going to concerts is like interacting with the singer, you know, mm-hmm. interacting with your audience and being friends with them. I mean, that's how I see it. I'm friends with the people I'm friends with, I think, in my opinion. So, like, I don't know if I'd really just go to hear well, him you're sing. Go- you're you know? going to listen to him sing and interact with the people there. Uh, but what if they can make interactions? No, like- they can make interactions. It's a whole, that's like a whole different story. See, now I'd go see that. Now, if personally, like to if it was a Vocaloid concert, yeah, I'd if, they, if he could talk to me, if Michael Jackson could talk to me, that would be pretty awesome. But like, I don't think he they can do that yet. Yet, me yes. can talk. To that him. is the key word. Yet, yeah, it, it'll happen eventually. But they would yet. have to use like voice uh, augmentation and everything. Mm-hmm. But they might. They which might is very likely with everything that we're, we've been talking about voice modification to, that's like on the low list like that'll be that's definitely gonna happen yeah like the whole grand thing I was telling y'all about uh, Kanye done one for Kim a few months ago and uh, it was one of her family members that had passed away and they had enough like video recording and audio from it mm-hmm. that like it was they were just right there in their living room and it was telling Kim how much he loved her and talking about the babies and stuff like that. Even though this person's been passed away for years, you know. I feel like to a certain <sighs> extent that's crazy and a little bit unhealthy because, you know, I, I, how I see that, you know. Well, uh, we can live forever. Yeah. Technically, yeah, if you think it, if you think about it like well, that. Well, like yeah. I said, if you upload your conscience, then we definitely could. And uh, I feel like that would help a lot of people who, you know, like lose their children and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you upload the child's consciousness into like, I don't know, a robot or something. It would still be them. It would still be them. They'd just be in a different body. But hopefully that child isn't a serial killer. Hopefully and, 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 not. And, and, we, and we get like a Chucky situation. Oh, yeah. That's just going to yeah. be bad. Like, I guess that would make, like, a lot of sense, because we are our brains, so if you just move what's in the brain to another thing... Yeah. Yeah. They just have to yeah. figure out exactly how to do that, and I yeah. am way too dumb to even... It's like, yeah, it's like, I can't even sit here and talk yeah. about it all day, but when it comes down to the science and the facts of it all, I have no idea. Yeah. <sighs> but there's, there's somebody out there that does know, though. Exactly. And they're going to figure it out, and I'm so... I'm. S- Equally as excited as I am scared for same. the future. Exactly, yes. It's right there on the same thing. Yep. Hopefully the aliens come down and we get a little <laughs> bit humbled. 
Who knows? <laughs> Do y'all think y'all are going to see aliens in your lifetime? That depends. Am I going to upload my brain to a computer? As awesome as that would be, that sounds terrifying because it is out of our comprehension, you know, because aliens are like, they're aliens, but we're also aliens if you think about it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'd be aliens to them. Yes, exactly. Like, <laughs> so if like they came here, they'd just be like, what are you? And then you're like, what are you? And then you're like, both aliens. Do you think it'll be like kind of peaceful or do you think it's uh, going to be? It depends on how high, highly advanced the aliens. If I, know they, I don't even think it's that. I think if they wanted to wipe us out, they're like, well, we don't like you. We're wiping you out. Well, yeah, but, yeah. If they have like stronger forces than us and they are more technology. I guess it like, depends advanced, on which advanced, human talks more to More advanced them. than us than like, <laughs> yes, that's terrifying. They, that's, they will come down here on us. <laughs> that's, that's actually a good thought. Who should we get to talk to the aliens? Who's going to be like, <laughs> the, who's going to be the peacemaker? We have to think of like the coolest human being of all time. Snoop Dogg. Well, that would be, be kind of awesome, yeah. Snoop Dogg would just be, be pretty like, chill about it. Yeah. Hey, what's up, player? You, 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 you from, you from Jupiter? I don't. You're I can't Jupiter. do it. I don't. I, can, I don't know. I'm not going to do a Snoop Dogg impression. Either him or The Rock. The Rock would be a great choice, I think. The Rock would be good. Everybody loves. You the could sing Kevin Hart in right behind him too. Yeah, we'll send them both in. We'll make the aliens laugh. Yeah. Exactly. We'll have like some comedy in here, and you know, The Rock. I think that'll be good. The Rock and Snoop Dogg and Kevin Hart, all, time, all three of them. Oh, every man, time what I a think, trio. Listen, that would be great. Listen. That's a good movie. <laughs> the craziest yeah. thing about The Rock was, have, do you play Fortnite? I'm a sorry, little bit. I'm sorry to bring this up. A little bit. But listen, he was in Fortnite. Hear me out. Snoop, the Snoop Dogg? <laughs> no, The Rock. The Rock. It was great. Like, so, oh, they done like the little character so, thing yeah, that they yeah. do? So it was yeah. like the ending of season like eight, chapter two. <laughs> And it was called The End. And there was this guy that was like a few seasons back that was in it. Well, he comes in there to save Jonesy. He's like the main character. And he takes his helmet off after he murders like a bunch of people. And it's The Rock. I don't know why it's The Rock, Whoa. but it is. But people have been like memeing it and be like, it's about drive. It's about- <laughs> I was about to ask if y'all heard the song. Yes. That's yes. literally the only thing I know about Fortnite. <laughs> I don't. The Rock? That he's in it. The Rock's in it. <laughs> it was that song was so funny. I never would have thought I would heard heard the yeah. Rock rapping. Yep, he'll be a skin in Fortnite in like thirty some days. <sighs> and but, people are gonna pay so much money for it. Oh but, well, I think he's a free skin. I, I don't know though. You have to like quest for him. But speaking about music, Lone Star. Yeah, that <laughs> is crazy. Yeah, H- how did all this come about? Well, Joe Campbell from the Mac, he sent some of my videos to Lone Star, and they just approved it, and it went from there. Honestly, it was crazy, yeah. I'm very excited. (laughs) Well, do y'all both have, like, a favorite Lone Star song? You said it earlier. (laughs) I'm already there. (laughs) I I know people like Amazed, but I'm already there. I'm already there. It hits hits different. I'm already there. Exactly. It just just hits different. Every time I hear it, yeah. look around. It's a great. I've never heard their music. I wouldn't take you as a big Lone Star fan. Yeah, I'm it's sorry. okay. <laughs> it's all right. <clears throat> you have to know Amazed though. I don't know how you do what you do. Uh, I'm so yeah, in love yeah, with I know you. it. I've heard it at school. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that was back always, in high school. Yeah. That was always the slow dance song yeah. that everybody chose. Yeah. Yep. They what was that other song they had? Mr. Mom. I think that was one of their songs. That they yeah. were ahead of their time. <laughs> Good for a long star. Yeah. Ah, they just make such incredible music. And that's awesome. Yep. They're coming right down to the Mac, too. Yep. And it's great, too, how they're letting local people open up for these big acts. Are you nervous, Any? Nope. I'm very excited. <laughs> as soon as I found <laughs> out, I was like, I'm ready to do this. When do I start practicing? Wow. I'm, I'm happy that you got that confidence and drive. I would be absolutely terrified in this situation. <laughs> in in oh, a way, it's like, well, I'm performing for a national act. Like, it's a huge, huge opportunity, huge band. Like, yeah, it's like crazy, but like, I'm very excited to do it. That makes my stomach drop just hearing you say that. Like, the, the, the term national touring band. Like, oh, God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a scary term. Yeah. Uh, do you like? Do you get nervous, Annie? Like, like, but before any show, like, do you get the butterflies just a little bit? Yeah, I feel uh, like everyone does. Anybody that says they don't, kind of feel like you might be lying to us a little bit. When does it hit you? Right before you go on. 
Mm. You'll be sitting there and then just twiddling your thumbs and then you start thinking about it. Then you're mm. like, oh, I'm about to perform in front of people. <laughs> mm. Then you're like, huh, it's going to be hot on stage. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> then, then, yeah, My then the pressure starts off. building up. And then when I get on stage, it's like, okay, we're good. I was that, nervous for nothing. How's the uh, Lumix Productions going? Oh, it's going great. I hope anyways. <laughs> I've been seeing a, a lot of stuff on Facebook here recently yeah. about it. It's, yeah. it's cool to see the, the growth. Yeah, I've been uploading a lot on uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and my Patreon. I've got a lot of stuff going on on Listen, Patreon. Listen, she's right got now. these cool like little 3D models on her Instagram, and I love them. They're like little mushrooms. Are they NFTs? No. Okay. No. Are you going to dive into that? Uh, I'm not a... You're thinking about it. She's thinking about it. She's thinking about it. Um, who? Kn- I don't know them. I don't know enough about them to like even know what they are. I just know that they're very popular. The, as somebody in the art community, um, the NFTs. I don't think we claim them. I think a lot of people in the art community have said that they do not claim the people who do the NFT thing. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what an NFT because it's very. Is. It's I don't a, know what it is either. Really, it's a little controversial. What's an NFT, Brittany? It's a very, it's kind of complicated too to explain. Well, I'm gonna look at the definition. Look <clears> at the definition. <clears throat> okay, a non fungible token. Okay. That's NFT. It is a unique and non interchangeable unit of data. Excuse me. Stored on a blockchain, a form of a digital ledger. NFTs can be associated with the reproductible digital files such as photos, videos, and audio. So is it a real thing? Or is it I something on the internet? Moment. Okay, it's like uh, um, I'm going to try to explain this best way I can because, lord, it's complicated. You know, he said a bunch of stuff and I have no idea what any of it means. I don't know. It, <laughs> yeah, I, even I, that I, kind I of had complicated. to take my time moment, reading really it. Do. They were using a lot of big words. From what I've heard, um, it's essentially like people just make like a little... What's the best way to explain this? Like, I'll do a simple one that people do not like. Okay. So there's like, a, they take a, like a little character and just from head up, headshot of them and just draw them multiple times doing different expressions and then they sell them. Oh. And they post. Yeah. Wait, 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 so, so here's so, the thing. So they post it, it and they don't think people are just going to so, click and save the image. So it's just drawing a bunch of pictures and then selling them. Yes. So in a way that it, it is art. It is art, but I think the reason why it's controversial is because people can just hold it in and save the picture, correct? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Like and then they, they can resell the picture. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Okay. It's complicated. Okay, yeah. It's, it's different than art trade because with art trade, you know, if you're going to post uh, an image, you're supposed to either post a little bit of the image, blur it a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know, that put, way. Put your, uh, what is it, watermark? Yeah, watermark, you know. You could do whatever you like. You know, usually photographers put their name in the middle yeah. of the picture. Yeah, why don't you just do that? Why don't people do that? It's, it's, NF, it's NF, I, I, whatever, I, NFT, whatever. <laughs> I, I don't get it enough either, but I know that like they are selling for ridiculous amounts of money. I just yeah, typed that in. Yeah, that too. <laughs> the most expensive NFT is a digital collage of images by people. That sold for sixty nine point three million dollars. Yeah, that's why people aren't too happy about it. Whoa! It's you. It's usually too. Like I said, it's usually just a character headshot of a character, and they're just. It doesn't even look very cool. Like the well, the, the pictures <laughs> that I'm seeing is it's like pixelated, right? Is that the headshots you're uh, talking what, about? What 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 is the image? I don't know. There's a lot of them, but it's like, it's like it's just like. It looks like retro Mario characters almost. I feel like we're playing a game trying to guess what he's looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had a, 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 a... We're going to get a monitor in here one day. I'm going to pull it up on the phone just so y'all can see it. Yeah, Alex just said it's some type of money scheme, which I can see that too. Okay, yeah. You know... Like like this. <sighs> oh, that's an NFT. Yeah, oh. essentially. Yeah, this is what I was talking about for the people at home. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's like very pixelated and stuff. Yeah. I guess that's a mask. Yeah, and it's just the same. It's just the same. It's just the same character, but with different expressions. So it could be any character. It doesn't have to look like that. Why are they so valuable? I and don't like, know. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's just a like, fad. I would get it it's complicated. If it's like, <laughs> like I would get it if it's like a, a famous artist, you know, painted this yeah. or drew it. But like, 
Why are you selling a $2 million picture of a character that... Yeah, but as you can see, though, from the picture that they posted, you can literally just click on that image and click save. Yeah. And then you so, have it. Don't even have to buy it. So I, why would I you I guess buy you get a certificate. And you get if you do that, you get, you get, everybody gets mad. And do you get anything for it? Like, when you buy it, do you not get anything? Like, like you said, you, a certificate? You, you, just, you, just, you just have it. <laughs> oh, I guess. <laughs> that's it? Okay. What, what would make you get involved in the NFT game? Nothing. I, I think <laughs> but with you being the talented artist that you are, you can knock one of these out in five minutes. Like yeah. this does not look very hard to. Yeah, you could make. achieve that. You could achieve. I could just season. do like Terry. Do like, like a little headshot of Terry. But like, <laughs> yeah. my great, don't, my don't, bird. don't like sell them for like two million dollars because I don't think you're gonna get much out of that. But like twenty bucks a pop, you know. <laughs> if you sell five of yeah. them, that's a hundred bucks. Yeah. I do more like commissions. You know, I like show yeah. like an example of art and be like, if you want a full body, you have to pay this price, half this price, commission. Like people yeah. are like, you tell me what you want me to draw, and I'll do that. Commission style <laughs> NFTs. Listen, Boom. crazy. You can be an NFT. You need to get people while they're dumb and they don't know anything <laughs> about it. Just jump on, jump on that bandwagon and steal people's money just like everybody else is. Scamming right now. everybody like I got scammed. <laughs> Oh. Exactly. Yeah. T- take their uh, the 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 what is it called the the bell coins take, from take them. the bells. Oh, take no. the bells. Snap them bells. I think that's what it is. It's just artists taking advantage of really rich people yeah. and the and the fad that is going on at the time. That's what it seems like it is to me. See now, one of my favorite things I've seen on her Instagram, so she has like little three D models of mushrooms. They're not mushrooms. It's mushroom potions. I haven't done the mushroom models. Have yet. you seen them? They're really uh-huh. cute. On on it's They're... on my CG Trader as well. It's like so cute. What's a CG Trader? It's a 3D modeling website where you can sell like your 3D model. So like, so this is like an actual thing. Yes. Yeah. Like, yep. oh, my uh, nephew just got one of those. The 3D links printers. in my the links in my bio if you wanna if you wanna go to on if, your Facebook. No, on Instagram. Free plug, Brittany. Free plug. Hey, we're we're gonna plug <laughs> the heck out of it. Mm-hmm. Is it on your website? That's where I'm at. My website. Oh, yes. Lord. That website is no longer relevant. I'm actually building a website from scratch right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. I got you. Is it just Lumix Productions on uh, Instagram as well? Uh, no, it's Lumix Love should be. Love. Instagram, Instagram. So how long does it uh, take usually to do one of these 3D models? Uh, depends on how determined I am for that day. Uh <laughs> So for these, um, I guess I made all of them in like a couple of days. I like all of them together. But like you can, like one knocks itself out in like a few hours or so, or like a few hours. Oh, that's cool. I'm on your thing now. So I see a cat. I see like a little bottle potion. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Cute little mushrooms is on that it. it. Yeah, yeah, I love the mushrooms. Little, oh, I see the mushrooms now. Okay. Yeah, they're called mushies. <laughs> oh, it, six bucks too. That's not. You need to freeze that price a little bit. You can get some money out of that. Oh, you got a video with it too. What? Yeah. Oh, it Everyone shows go, the process. Uh, go check out Brittany's yeah. Instagram. <laughs> Dude, that is cool. What well, that? Dang, that looks so complicated. That looks ridiculously complicated. It's so much fun though. <laughs> I'm going to see like the final product. Oh man. Does that take a few days to create? No, that took me uh, a couple hours. So she's, she's, uh, in my opinion, you're crazy. I don't know how you do that <laughs> stuff. I'm, I'll be honest. I'm the most impatient person ever. So like, I like to get things done. You know. Yeah, I am. T- that. Oh yeah. my god, that video I just watched. Like sitting, me thinking <sighs> about sitting there for hours, looking at a screen, trying to draw something, aggravates me. Oh <laughs> man, you wait till you, uh, you wait till I show you uh, my website, the, all the coding that I had to put into it. So, with this mushroom bottle thing, can you actually like, put liquid and stuff inside of it? Uh, I mean, it's got liquid in it, I guess you could say. Uh, so, here's the thing. I'm wanting to get enough money. I'm saving up right now to get a better 3D modeling program to where, like, if you rotate it, the liquid inside will slosh around. See, I don't know how to do that in Blender. Uh, like, well, I do, but, like, it... Um, it doesn't stay still. It doesn't stay stagnant. It like pours in simulation. Mm. 
Is it like, you know those mugs back in the day that you could put in the freezer and it would chill it? Mm -hmm. Is that kind of the same concept? Maybe. Um, These are kind of like video game assets. Like you could have it in a video game. I'm actually going to be working on a video game soon. You should tell them where those. uh, You should tell them where those (laughs) mushrooms came from, Brittany. Where did those mushrooms come from, Brittany? The mushies. (laughs) Yeah. What are they? They're mushies. And they. uh, What do they do? Well, uh, like, okay, so for instance, uh, you put. uh, Man, this is going to get into my comic. Oh no! We're we're, we're going to talk about it. Tell us a little bit more about your comic, then, if you want to go ahead and tell us like the plot. We're plugging here. That's what (laughs) that's what these (laughs) podcasts are for. Speaking uh, speaking of websites, you can go to HaleyNewman.net. Oh boom! (laughs) So yeah. Well, okay. So um, it does. It's not a big plot point. Maybe it is. I guess it is. It this girl, she's a alien, and uh, she goes to. Actually, maybe we should get started with. Just the whole yeah, like the summary. Say, like, like the how summary about we just start comic. with what it's m- morally about? Where, hate, where's the core? I would hate to be inside her brain. Yeah, hey, it because scrambles. trying to <laughs> describe something that you're creating, I feel like is so hard. Yeah, yeah especially it, something like this. I, I feel like plot. it sounds so dumb when I say it out loud, but I know what I'm talking about in my head. Okay, yeah. Anyways, uh, okay, so the premise of the first volume of the comic is it's about an 11 year old girl named Melanie. And she's starting uh, middle school or whatever. Uh-huh. Um, on her way to school, she uh, actually runs into this person who... Uh, so the thing about Melanie is she has pink hair. That's not normal for humans. And uh, Alula's an alien, and she she knows a little bit about humans. And she's like, that's not normal. You're unique. I think I'm going to follow you. And uh, she takes like this little potion, mm-hmm. and it's a shrink potion. So she shrinks down. She's like a little fairy, and she follows Melanie to school. And Melanie's like... Okay, I guess. <laughs> I guess I guess you're coming with me. And then, uh, you know, she ends up staying there for about six months. Uh-huh. And then uh, mm-hmm. she realizes that they're looking for her. I'm not going to say who because that's a spoiler. Okay. But uh, they're looking for her. So Alula's like, well, you know what? You're coming with me. We're going across space and time. And uh, the mushies come in because she's collecting them to make these potions. And what they do is some, um, it's like video game, I guess. Like You take one. For health, or one for uh, you could use this video game in real life. It's like poison damage and all that kind of stuff, and that's kind of how the mushies kind of came about. The potions. Let's see. That's cool. You know how this sounds insane. That's a cool story. She told me about this. And she was like, well, when she makes the potions, she kills the mushrooms. They scream. Oh, you wanted me to mention that. <laughs> they scream. They, they, they do. scream. They die in pain. But why, why can't you put them out of their misery? No, 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 like, no, no, why no, can't no, you like, give them a wait, shot? Why can't they just go like, to sleep peacefully? Have you ever watched Rick and Morty? Yeah, I love okay. Rick and Morty. Do you know about uh, the episode, um, what's her name? Unity. She, the yeah, Unity yeah, episode. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It, they kind of work like that. They're one person. They're like, like one mushroom. It's one entity. Over all the mushrooms. So even if you kill one, it, 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 the entity's fine. Like, the mushroom's body just dies. But it's I just thought it would be kind of funny to show them, like, being like, Wah! like, freaking out. Like that. Oh and listen, as they an 11, so cute. But they are cute. Here's the thing about it. Uh, I, I'm trying to put myself Melanie, in the Melanie. 11-year-old girl's position, Melanie, watching them die. Yeah, she's like, why are you killing them? You are going to have, like, these characters are going to have some traumatic problems in their their 20s. crazy. She's insane. They're going to develop some drinking habits. And and they're like teens, it sounds like. Uh, like... (laughs) So so when's this comic going to be released? Actually, it's already out. I've already started it. I'm uploading a... One second. (laughs) <laughs> I'm uploading it. Oh, that sounded rude. Uh, I uploaded it onto my Patreon. It's for free. You can read it for free on my Patreon. And it's got five pages out. But I'm uploading pages like any time that I can, pretty much. I kind of did a little bit of a dialogue change at the end and added a couple things. So. Why do I have to click if I'm 18 years or older on this? Okay. <laughs> so the okay. Patreon itself has a tier that is not kid friendly. Okay. So that's why. How do you get to that tier? <laughs> He's like, I'm interested. <laughs> uh, you you actually have to pay for that tier. They won't let you post like they won't let you post that kind of stuff for free. Oh, I get it. Yeah, like uh, there's a tier list, and um, I feel like my prices are high, but. The reason for that is I'm going to be adding so much more to it. Like I'm adding the 3D models. I'm doing these little like shimejis. 
Uh, and what that is, it's like a little character that runs around on your on your desktop. Have you you know what I'm talking about? Mm. It's like a little character. It's like a little. It's like that little paperclip thing back in the day. Y'all remember that thing that I gave you all the tips and stuff. In a way, but this can like run around and interact with your yeah. stuff. Like if you have like a like it could grab your cursor and like hang on to it and all kinds of stuff. And yeah. You can, like throw them they around. They can like and... walk around on your screen and stuff. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. Dylan, Dylan What's that had called? Those for a while, didn't he? Uh, Shimeji. Uh, <laughs> it, <laughs> He's like, how do you spell that? S H I M. E J I should be. He looked at you. He was like, "Do you?" You, you do could you also <laughs> just type in "desktop buddy." They brought desktop up mushrooms. Buddy? Oh well, well a shimeji. Okay, okay, a shimeji is. is also a, a Japanese mushroom. So, okay, I see the little characters. I want to see them move around though. So, God, how do you even do this type of stuff? Yeah, it's a lot of coding. Oh. <laughs> you know, she knows all about that stuff. I have no idea. It hurts my brain to yep. even try to understand. Like try to understand how you it's do all so this. fun though once you have it like wow. all created and out there i'm actually going to be making like the thing about the mushies i didn't tell you about this but alula figures out a way to make them into like a little like uh, human kind of like hybrid mushy and um you haven't seen it yet hybrid mushy it's like a little person but it has a little mushy hat. It's a person with a mushroom hat on. And they're really That's tiny. They're cute. like little mushy fairies. That's what I'm calling them is mushy Does fairies. Does it look like Toad? No. Toad from Mario? You know who, yeah. I know you're talking about Toad, but they're going to be really cute. Are you saying Toad's ugly? He's not ugly. Toad He's is, not ugly. Toad there's other versions of Toad, too. Toad is Toad. Toad. I love I Toadette. Toadette. I love Toadette. Toadette is adorable. Yep. I mean, it's, like, it's they Toad look... in front of everyone. No, they look, they look more like chibis. You know what a chibi is. Yeah. An animated chibi. That's what they look like. Huh. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm using so many crazy terms. No, I'm learning here, and I like this. Because I'm, I'm learning as we go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah I got, I got, I'm going to ask some questions, but I'll, I'll get it eventually. I'm watching a Semeji right now. That's how you say it, right? Semeji, yeah. Shemeji. Shemeji. That's Who weird. knows? I could be saying that that's wrong, such, too. <laughs> could be a... butchering that. Where do you go to read your comic on your Patreon? Uh, it should. Act, it's a public. It's a public post. If you, you should be able to see uh, the public tab, just click public, and it should be there. Okay. I'll figure it out. Uh, to be honest, I've never been on Patreon. This is my very Same. first time being on Patreon. And you know, note uh, the comic does have you know some slight language and a little bit of uh, gore. Okay. It's a okay. little graphic. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I, well, I was thinking it was going to be something else. I didn't know what I had to be 18 years or older. I, I'm mixing. I'm mixing like adorable with gruesome in okay. a way. Well, that's what anime is. Yeah. That's good anime that's at least. Um, what's that one anime called? Higurashi. Yeah, it's literally that anime. <laughs> what's it called? Higurashi. Higurashi. That's a cool name. Oh yes. Oh, it's adorable. And then they murder each other. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. So Lumix Love Linktree. That's where people can find yep. all yeah. this. It's crazy how it's 2022. Yeah, I know. But I wish both of y'all a great 22. 2022. 2022. There 2020. we go. The big 2-2. Futuristic. <laughs> but for people that want to check out Lumix Productions and also get their tickets for the big Lone Star Show and see what 2022 has for the new and improved Haley Newman. Yeah. Where do they go to find all that information, y'all? You can go on all my social medias at Haley Newman Music. Pretty much the same thing, just uh, all my socials uh, at Lumix Love. Tell them how to spell that. Uh, L-U-M-I-X-L-U-V. There. It's easy to me, but some people it might not. No, I get that. I understand. It's like, what love are you talking about? What is the Lumix? <laughs> y'all, this was a great podcast. I had so much fun on this. And, you know, thank y'all for coming by. And like I said, I wish nothing but a great 2022 for y'all. And hopefully we can do this again soon. Yeah. Yeah, you too. I wish you a happy uh, 2022 as well. Thank y'all. <laughs> Thanks for having us. And for everybody else, we'll see you next week. Boom.